Hey guys, welcome to week two. This is gonna be our week two walkthrough. So let's go ahead and get started. So our learning objectives for this week is to describe why it's important to learn about intercultural communication, identify and describe the imperative reasons for learning about intercultural communication, explain how self-awareness relates to it, and recognize and describe the four building blocks of specifically intercultural communication. So our readings for this week, um, some of this might be a little similar to what you read last week, but we're gonna read again about the six imperatives and a short little one on the building blocks of intercultural communication. So like I said, this one is pretty short and this one, so why is intercultural communication important to study? So key terms, and then once again, our six imperatives of intercultural communication. So we have our lecture that is with the PowerPoint. So some supplemental reading. And then this video, this APA style one relates to our assignment that we will be doing this week, which is the research assignment. So please watch this so you know what to do for the research assignment. So the PowerPoint, if you would like to keep it for notes, it's probably gonna take forever to load. So we're just gonna, oh, there it is. But yep, so building blocks and barriers to intercultural communication. Come on, let's go. We have our discussion and then we'll have an assignment as well. So of the six imperatives to study intercultural communication, which is the most relevant or interesting to you in particular? So this one is just, which one do you care about and why? Identify a code of conduct or ethical principle that represents your own culture and contrast it with something else or something similar from a different culture. So the four building blocks are communication, culture, context, and power, and describe an intercultural situation that you've been a part of and how the, these building blocks affected the interaction. And then we are finding another movie clip and using it to show an example of stereotyping, discrimination, or prejudice and explain how it is showing one of those things. And our assignment is this research assignment. What I would suggest that you do is pick a culture for this that you are interested in. So topic, maybe you wanna look at culture of the Czech Republic. So Czech culture. We are going to be finding three resources that seem interesting to us that might be relevant for research. So. These are sources that can start to help you formulate thoughts for your ethnography. So if I know that I really want to do the Czech Republic for my ethnography, then I'm going to say, okay, I want to find sources that I'm actually going to use in my paper, because once I do these, then I already have three sources, and that's less to worry about later when I actually have to go through and write the paper. And then you're going to read one of these articles that you have cited and answer these five questions. So something that you read that you might've already knew, something that you learned, something that was surprising to you, was there anything in there that raised questions? And then what was your biggest takeaway or how you could actually use this resource? So once again, there's that video. We have a quick little Kahoot review as well. Um, because I think there is a chap, I don't think there's actually a chapter one and two quiz. I think this is just to make sure that you kind of know what's going on. So just to kind of check your knowledge, if you'd like to play that, you can play it as a guest. And I believe you can play against yourself and just kind of do a self quiz. Oh, no. sorry, that's gonna, I guess, make us start an entire game. So yeah, but you can also just study. If you click on these, it'll do the drop down. I know there is a way to play it by yourself, but I can't remember exactly how to do it right now. So, but you're welcome to do that. And then that is our wrap up. And then we will be done. And that moves us into week three. And I'll see you again at the week three video. Thanks. <laughs>